Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer, and this is The Road of the Record, where I work to achieve mastery of 10 games in a hunt for the best score of the Decathlon. If you'd like to see, remember to hit that like button. you want to see more, hit subscribe. Let the games begin. This is Pro Cycling Manager 2018 Pro Cyclist Mode, episode number 70. It's stage 16 at La Vuelta, 189km sprit stage. 17 kilometers to go, rain coming down pretty hard here. The breakaway group of six riders still have a little over a minute uh, off the front of the field, so it is possible that they could survive today. The group is slowly thinning out due to such a frantic pace. There's definitely riders off the back here. As we go inside, 10k to go, we're down to 77 in the peloton, chasing that group of six, which is now down to a half a minute on their lead. Lopez, Van Garderen, and then Viviani, the sprinter, are all that is left here. Slow it down for the final four kilometers. Let's see which teams are going for it. Katusha, I believe that's the Burger King team. Try to move myself forward if I can get through here, which it looks like I can't. Rapasiro right in front of me, so he's got a little bit of an edge. The breakaway group's still there. Breakaway group's going to win it. Breakaway group's going to win it. We're not even going to catch the back end, are we? Yeah, breakaway group. One, two, three, four, five, and six. They hung on. Dan McClay wins the sprint. Maloy and Chantine. Greta Vagan all the way down 13th, Matthews, Viviani in 15th. We're waiting for the tail. Bernal, the first contender in 20th. I took 22nd. And some people lost time. A lot of stages still to go. We head on to stage 17 of 21, but we're definitely on the downhill stretch. The main climbing is behind us. The biggest opportunities for time gaps are behind us. So we should be cruising to victory. Now, can I grab enough points, which I'm over 20 behind, 21 behind, to take the Mountain Climbers jersey? Doesn't seem likely at this point. But we might try for it over the next few stages. Still 72 kilometers left in this stage. We've got a good bit of climbing still to do. The final climb does favor the likes of me, but it is pretty short. This time, Rawson did not get into the breakaway group, so there's no threat of him picking up points. However, Lutsenko is in the group, so there is danger of him picking up points. So what I've done is I've kept them close. Uh, I've had Hamilton, Van Garderen, Toynes, uh, and Bargui for a while. Uh, the four of them have taken turns at the front, keeping the breakaway within two and a half minutes. Now, other teams have stepped up to help catch up to them, and we should have an easy time. Not for this first climb, the Category 4, uh, but by the time we reach that Category 2, we should be able to catch up to that breakaway, put that pressure on, and get Lutzenko dropped, and then try to get after those points myself. Uh, but especially in the final climb. A little bit less team support today, though, after using that team support earlier in the stage. Uh, you could also see, though, from the profile that there are riders that have been dropped. Uh, four of them. I believe it's just four. I think Kirill is the last one. Uh, and they are way behind, and that's all been because of the pace. I mean, there really is only one climb that we've gone over up until this point. Uh, but we've done some damage to the field. The rest of the team is pretty tired at this point. Uh, Hamilton looking a little bit better. Lopez looking a lot better. Uh, I don't have control over everyone, which is a little bit of a strange one today, considering it's not a sprint stage. Points. We can go ahead and get you back up front now. Hamilton already has been assigned to that. Which 
and Bahrain Marita here at the front to uh, try to pull back that breakaway, which actually has extended their lead uh, just in the last little bit. I didn't realize that uh, they were allowed to suddenly pull away. Last I looked moments ago, they were still at two and a half minutes. Should get a fair amount of recovery this climb is feared by many riders. The percentage is on the descent high. here. Almost tempted to go myself. Not leave the field behind, but pull. Lutsenko going for the points now. And he's up to 48, so that's 11 clear and 21 clear for those two riders. Viviani and Bargui are off the back. All time shrinking. And Garter and Port and Twins in a group off the back now, so the Peloton has actually gotten much smaller, down to 65 riders. Uh, Hamilton, Lopez, and I, and I still don't have control over Lopez. So is Lopez going for the stage? Is today his day to go for a stage win? Could be. Be my best support rider going forward here. The pack is increasing its work rate. Some teams can't Leads down to three minutes, away. but I was expecting to catch the breakaway here because I I, I would have thought we would have been down. I'm down. I'm down. Apparently, the leader is on the ground. Big crash. Rapper zero's in it as well. Get up, get up, and get moving. Get moving. All right, I'm moving, I'm moving. Huge crowd, there we go, I'm through. Uh, Hamilton's off the front. Two minutes, wow, that was a long time. Peloton, 71 riders. Uh, oh Gegenhardt's ahead. Ooh, another crash. Jeez. There's reports of a group of riders taking a tumble, but apparently they all managed to set off again. I don't know when we're going to get a chance to pull back the groups ahead, so I, I really need to start moving. There's Kristoff going off the back. And Gardarin pulling to try to bring us back up. Twenty-nine riders in the group ahead. We're all over the place at the moment. But that group ahead's not far, so get my hands on that group here in a moment. Just caught up to most of my team. 47 riders in this group. There are definitely riders though off the front and this is so confusing. Everybody's all over this hill at the moment. I'm just flying by guys. Wow, Rapasiro who was down in the same crash as me was way up here already. I thought I maybe had left him behind, but no. He was way up the road compared to where I was. So he got back on his bike much faster. Twenty one twenty riders in the Peloton. And now it's just two Diego Rosa, so I just rode off the front without much effort. I should recover on the descent. Now, some of them are coming back now, so they, they accelerated to catch back up. Alright. Chaos. <laughs> Absolute chaos on that hill climb. Let's try to get... Okay, here we go. So Lutsenko is on their own. 30 seconds clear of Hershey, Sepkras, and Rossetto. And then 53 seconds to the remnants of the break. Uman, 
Bookman, Zacharin, Sivakov, Dan Martin, and Ciccone. I don't think that's remnants of the break. I think that's a group that attacked. I know Sam Ubin was in the break, but there's no way that Zacharin, Sivakov, and Ciccone were all in the breakaway. Could be. I didn't look that closely at who was there. I was focused mostly on Lutseko and the Mountain Climbers. I'm in a group of 13. Lopez is here in the group with me, but I have no control over him, so it does appear that he's set to be going for a stage win. It is a hill stage. That is his strength. Uh, but Rapasu is here. Tish Benu, Egan Bernal, Roman Bardet, Nairo Quintana, Enrique Mas, Fabio Aru, David Formolo, Jordan Brosky. So big names here. Rossan is behind us, so he's not going to be picking up any points on the final climb. Thibaut Pinot is well behind us. Vincenzo Nibali. I'm going to try to cruise down here and recover on this descent so I can attack the final climb. I am recovering quite quickly. Again, the last kilometer or so is very steep. will favor me. We've got 21k left in this stage and the climb itself looks like it's going to be about seven kilometers would be my estimate from here. But my recovery is nearly done. You can see Lopez is only barely recovered so a lot of these guys are going to be pretty tired when we get to the bottom which is now. So that recovery piece, not going to be there so much. This is where Lopez should be pulling at the front. Withdrawals in the rear and 36 groups. People are all over the road. Diego Rosa pulling. There's Rapasiro Binu. Ludvigsen. We're at 18 riders now. Our day is caught back up. He was in the group that caught us. There's now just 10 kilometers left. Oh, come on, Lopez. You should be pulling that group back, not letting them get away from us here. But if I waste the energy, there's no way that I'm going to win this stage. I'll get left behind if I pull across the flat. I'm terrible on the flat. So I just gotta suck it up and go with it. Nine kilometers, this is not the climb yet. Last little uphill before it though. Next time we go up, there we go. 500 meters of climbing, 6.7 kilometers, 6.9% gradient. So I was right on that estimate. We turn this corner and we're gonna begin the uphill. And here comes the acceleration. Tish Benut, there's Egan Bernal. They are slightly off the front. Drop Sir and I side by side. He's the only one I really need to worry about in terms of the overall. About to catch this group. My group is now thinning out. I'm going to ride right on through these guys. Acceleration. Okay, I'm on my own. Let's see if they can catch me. Looks like they can. They're certainly trying right now. Three riders still off the front. They're right there though. Bookman, Ciccone, Uman. I've got six riders with me now. No time to recover. It's 1k to the top. One and a half. There's Uman. Past him. There's the steepest part right here. There we go. The sprint is on. The riders are setting themselves up. Sprint is on for the stage win! 
Got it. Egon Bernal second. Zachary in third. Bookman fourth. Rapasiro fifth. Benut sixth. Already over a minute now. Ciccone, Formolo. Trinetki. Nice. Got the stage win on something that really doesn't suit me, but it was steep at the finish. I can handle that level of elevation change better than the other riders as a peer climber, even though I didn't have the resistance left. Lutsenko down in 18th, Rawson in 19th. I've got points here by winning the stage in the mountain climbers, so it'll close that gap down. Some. How much? I'm not sure. Is it five points? Is it ten points? Super steep, but it was only seven kilometers, so I don't know what the value was here at the top. Already at 47, 48 minutes. This last couple of riders coming in quicker than I thought. I really feared they would be behind the time cut, but no, everybody made it in the time cut. Stage win, Bernal, Zacharin on same time, 17 seconds to wrap up zero. So I gained back a little bit, plus the 10 second time bonus, so I pick up right about half a minute on him today. It's going to be overall back out over 3 minutes now, 3.02, Bernal's 11.27. Lopez down to 11th. I didn't even work for him today, or he didn't work for me today, I should say. What happened to Marc Soler? He was the Tour de France winner. I don't even see him. Don't see him. Is he withdrawn? Latour withdrew in the last stage. He was in the Mount Climbers con uh, contest, but he was well behind. He was about the third best competitor. Cruz Fikes out. Valverde's out. There. Okay. Mark Soler's out. Huh. He withdrew. I don't know when. Big gap now in the sprints competition. And in the climbs, I picked up five points. That's it. I got five points for winning the stage. And get into that climb first. That's what category two, I think, equivalent. So Lutsenko keeps his gap of eleven. Rawson's gap of twenty-one shrinks to sixteen. So I'm still well behind those guys. Uh, Rapasiro picks up a point or two. So he actually is still only seven behind. And I won that stage after crashing and having to play catch up, so that's that's nice. On to stage number eighteen now. Final four stages. It's another hill climbers one, but it's a flat finish. Should be a small group at the end and some sort of sprint. I certainly should be in the group and I don't stand much of a chance in a sprint with anyone. At least not something uphill. Uh, the first two climbs, I don't expect much to happen there, but maybe that category one, the category three is at the end, that's where things are gonna really start to split up. So we'll join in somewhere around the second sprint point. 65 kilometers left to go. Peloton has actually shrunk down to 69 riders already. The original break had 21. It's down to 16. Their lead has held 
Fern at two and a half minutes for the last almost 100 kilometers. And that has largely been through my efforts. Uh, Bargui, Van Garderen, uh, Hamilton, all working at the front, keeping the distance steady. Now, none of my threats for the mountain climbers are in the break, but I have to collect points. I didn't collect points over three or two, the first two climbs, but this next climb is a category one, and I really had my hopes set on it. However, if you look at the moment, this is all I have control of. Port, Barkey, and Van Garderen and Port. It's constantly exchanging who I have control over. So I'm going to try to do some form of chasing here uh, with them for this climb. And actually, I think the best way to do this, we're going to go like this. And like this. Uh, see, it keeps changing. Van Garder in port cannot make up its mind. And Bargui can't make up his mind on what the orders are. I suppose I do have toins now. Uh, let's reset this. We've got Toins and Barkey for sure. So I'm going to set each of us to let's say 87. I'd love to catch these guys and get some points over the top of this climb. They're just looking for a stage win, that group. I haven't even gotten to the front yet. Come on, Barkey. Uh, all of a sudden, Van Garderen is locked in. Why don't I... Uh, finish Barkey. Finish. There you go. Alright. You can go back to just being you. And Garderin, uh, Evide. All right, we pulled back 15 seconds already, but pulling back two and a half minutes is going to be a real challenge over that short stretch. Done. Toins. With Barkey out, it's giving me port, but port's tired. So he's not going to help. I'm not going to catch enough of these guys. On the way up, we're already near the top. Points are already decided. I didn't get anything off of my own for now, but uh, I will be caught. Not looking to stay away here. It's not a one man breakaway show. I'm not good on the flat. There's not enough climbing. So, just waiting. Was hoping for points. Couldn't get any. Didn't really cost me anything. End up with a smaller group. Lopez is here, but not helping. Speed things up. Seven riders left in the front group, two in the chase. Viviani in a fall. A lot of other riders caught up in that as well. More than one fall. 
before their group number has changed, most likely. Ah, here's Toynes is back, okay. 39 writers here in the Peloton. It's a little category 3 coming up. Why don't I follow Toynes? And Toynes, where are you? Toynes is going to come forward and lead us out over the top. Why aren't you wasting all your energy on the descent? So I don't want to push too hard here. We're hearing over the radio that a rider has given up. Mertz for Katusha oh, Alpacin is out. Korka Isagira falling. Let's hope it doesn't jeopardize the rest he might be out of the race. Luke Rowe. Oh, spectacular fall. Wanwa, puncture. Catching Zoidal here. Two riders. I'm doing just fine. That's why I'm not stressed here. Twenty. Watch out! A team leader is falling behind. Still almost two minutes to that break. Eighteen. Points have already been decided, so let them go. No threats anywhere. I mean, nobody earned points. Eighteen riders now chasing six. They've got a minute and a half. I'll let everybody else take the mantle from here. We catch him, we catch him. If we don't, we don't. Lopez is still here. 19 riders now. 20. Four more coming. 31. We've grown a lot. One rider going off the front. It's Fabio Aru going for the stage win here. Inside 10 kilometers for them. We have 40. Gorka Izagira has withdrawn. That was expected. He was down for a long while. Let's try to attack here. Egon Bernal attacking again, and there's no sort of anything. It's just he's riding off the front. <laughs> okay, he's pulled back in. And he's attacking again. Another attack. This time it could go all the way. Now technically your is the only one that I need to worry about. 5k to go. There goes the and there goes Rapasiro. The Breakaway about to cross the line. Dilligan ahead of Nibbly. Nibbly doesn't win. Sam Uman takes second. Just nine riders now chasing those six who have already finished. Fabio Aru last to cross the line. Sprint is on. We're just picking up scraps here, so not a big deal. Michael Matthews wins it. Lutsenko takes eighth. Banut ninth. Rapasiro tenth. Formolo Hershey. I'm in 19th. Another stage in the books, no time losses. At least not to anyone who matters. Breakaway hangs on to get the victory today. Nobody else was really involved in the pursuit other than myself. My only teammate around was not in my control, so he didn't involve himself. So I pulled back some time on the climbs and then on the descents and the flats, they pulled their time back out.
which is odd that nobody's interested in the stage win on a stage like this today where they had a chance. Four and a half minutes, Whew, that's a gap. Lopez back into 10th. Lumen moves up to 14th. Getting closer to the end, but also running out of chances to take the mountain jersey, especially without any mountain top finishes left. Stage 19, a couple climbs just before the line, but it'll be similar to the last stage. I think we'll still end up with a group, a bunch finish. Not a bunch sprint, but a small bunch sprint. 150 kilometers. We'll jump in around the last sprint point yet again. We're into the second half of the race. The riders are going to be more and more on their guard. 76 kilometers still to go. We're halfway through this stage. Breakaway group is down to 15 riders. It's been shrinking because they feel the pressure, so they haven't been able to let up. And that's because I've applied pressure. So much pressure that the Peloton now has just 37 riders. Hamilton, Viviani out the back. I'd say half of the riders that have left the Peloton left because of crashes, but have not been able to catch up. Meanwhile, the other half were dropped because of the pace. Uh, Port. Time to take a rest. Uh, but I've got most of my team here. Ooh, we're back up to 46. Uh, I've got most of my team here. And it has given me an opportunity, a chance to do something. And so I've got us in pursuit of that breakaway group. And we've got a small peloton. We'll see. I, I don't know. Let's see, Viviani, McCarthy, Castro Viejo, Benu, Matthews, Uman, Mutsenko, Rapasiro is in this group. So he has not been left behind. Barkey, Van Garderen, quite tired, and actually they're not even the ones that are going the fastest right now. Sunweb. We're into the last third of the race. We'll soon know the final outcome. If I have any chance of winning the mountain jersey, I've got to take points today. It's a must. And it's gonna be really difficult at this point with a two minute lead for the break. The break's gotta be close to shattering. However, my team is close to shattering outside of Lopez. And that means we're in a little bit of trouble if we're going to be doing any catching. 37 riders. I do my own little acceleration here and see how that goes. What I need to do here is I just need to follow Lopez. And Lopez, you're the one that's going to go. 86, 30 riders now, and we're starting to catch the break. Senko trying to get after some points. Five riders have got it. I don't think I'm going to get any points here. Nope, they've already got it. Five, five riders was all that there was. But we're about to catch four of them. With a small group here, with one climb to go. 
approach the bottom. The guys are still away. Gonna have to up the pace here. Matthews, Tish Manute. Finally have control of Lopez today, even though he was picked as puncher, but they did finally give me control over him this time, unlike the last stage. There's the finish. I'm gonna go back through this climb a second time. Falling behind. A team leader is falling behind. Just 14 riders now in the group here, so it's actually shrinking. Five riders ahead are back together. Another attack in the leading group. Lopez, while you still have a little bit left, I need to recover, but this is going to open up that gap real quick, and it is. Pulling out a few seconds every tick here. Lutsenko trying to attack early, too early. Riders are going through a very tough portion with percentages above 10%. And I'm off the front. Really a bunchy attack. Enrique Mas, the rider. No, it's Sepp Kras ahead of me. I've opened up a half a minute behind. And I just left him behind. Nice size gap at the moment. Forty five seconds. Forty seconds. Still two and a half K to go, but it really levels off here. Forty seconds. Nine riders give a chase. Thirty eight. They've gained on me a little bit here, but I'm about to hit the top. Pick up the points for this one. Water. I don't really need water, but let's drink some water. There you go. 34 seconds off the front. I should just relax and wait for this group to come because 30 seconds, I'm not going to maintain that on the flat. So those giving chase, Benu, Lutz, Lutsenko, Rapasiro, Bardet, Zacharin, Ulissi, Bernal, Formolo, Ciccone. Haven't caught up to me yet. I need to relax though. Recover. So I don't get dropped when they do catch me, inevitably. So I relax and they relax too. 45 seconds is the gap. Falling behind. A team leader is falling behind. Only five kilometers left. Five kilometers left. Use my tail now. Okay, now we start pushing and trying to hold. It's 25 seconds, it's not much. Three kilometers. 22 seconds. This little climb here helping me out. It's one rider chasing now. David Formolo. One K to go. The sprint is on. Formolo's coming up on me. Formolo's coming up on me. Sprinted to the line. It's going to be enough. Stage win. Formula is going to take second. Or is he? No, he's caught. Lutsenko takes second. Ulissi, Manute, Formolo, Rapasiro, Bernal, Bardet, Zacharin, Ciccone. So, going after those points on that Category 2 climb paid off with a stage win. Nice. That was unexpected. Didn't think I would build enough of a gap, but they were pretty beat chasing me, I suppose. And so I was just as fresh as they were by the time we hit the bottom of the, the, the climb, the descent. 
And then there was that little bit more climbing that helped. It wasn't purely flat, there was uphill. And then a little downhill finish. I think if it was just pure flat, that last six kilometers, they would have caught me for sure. There you go, another stage win. That'll open up my lead a little bit further. Over three minutes now. Kristoff, he's had a quiet race anyway. Kristoff has withdrawn. Now for the race highlights. Wonder if he got swept up by the broom wagon. What do you mean, same time? Oh, bite me. Minute 58. I had 15 seconds to those guys. And they were nowhere near me on the line. Nowhere near. And it's not a sprint stage, it was a hill stage. So I don't know why I wouldn't have gotten that time gap. At least 10 seconds, 12 seconds, more like 15. Lopez finishes four minutes down at 21st. Hershey and Kristoff withdrawn. 312. I gained 10 seconds instead of 20 plus. The mountains, the one that matters right now. The lead's down to 11 points. But that's 11 points. It's going to be really hard to get in the last couple stages. Keep trying, though. Something else to go for besides what we already have accomplished. All but guaranteed now. Barring. A crash. Stage 20 of 21. That's just about it. So very nearly there now. Stage 20, another hills one, but not one that's going to do anything. There are some points though. There are some points on this stage. And meanwhile, stage 21, no mountain points. 95 kilometers. So this is it. This is the last chance to do something for that mountain climbers competition. Got to overcome an 11 point deficit. I will absolutely use my team. <laughs> to its fullest to try and get that mountain climbers jersey. Uh, but that is all the time that I have for this episode. I'm Decathlon Gamer, and remember, I'm aiming for the best of the best. So if you're ready to join me on my journey, hit subscribe, and tune in next time as we wrap up La Vuelta. Bye for now.